All right, so what if I told you you could power three 3.4 volt 20 milliamp LEDs with just 20 milliamps at full brightness? Would you believe me? Some of you may, some of you may not, and I'm going to show you how you can do this. And it's very simple. There's two ways you can wire these in a circuit, and one is the least efficient way and one would be more efficient. So let's do this. And I'm going to show you the drawbacks of one versus the other also. So let's go to the microscope and breadboard here. And I've already calculated out the three resistors for the LEDs. We're going to be hooking these up in parallel against 12 volts, as you can see on the supply on the, on the left. So let's hook up one LED. We have 20 milliamps, as expected. Let's add another one to the circuit in parallel. There's 40 milliamps. And let's hook up the last one here. And it is roughly about 60 milliamps. Probably got a little bit of error in the resistance, which is fine. So we'll actually raise up the voltage just a hair. Right about there. So they're running at about 60 milliamps, 20 milliamps each bulb. Now, if we hook these up in series, so we're gonna pull this resistor out and we're going to put the 100 ohm resistor in series with the LEDs. And there it is, 20 milliamps at three LEDs at the same brightness. That's all it is, a series circuit. Now, the drawback of this is, obviously, is since you are in a series circuit, if you pull one bulb out, they all go out, kind of like your Christmas lights. So that is actually how they're getting away with running all those Christmas lights that are, each bulb is probably around, couple of volts to, to power them up or a few volts to power them up if there was 120 volts on each bulb they would all just blow up so this is how they get around that they do a bunch of series and series parallel in the Christmas light circuit array so that's it that's how it works so you can actually run 12 volts three LEDs 20 milliamps with a resistor and three LEDs all right, so if you were wondering how I calculated this all out, there's actually one caveat to this circuit. You actually have to keep the supply voltage greater than the added forward voltage of your LEDs. So let's see what our added voltage of our LEDs is. So 3.4 volts times 3 equals 10.2 volts. So, okay, we're on to 12, so we're okay there. So let's do 12 minus... 10.2 volts equals 1.8 volts. Now divide that into the current, which is 0 0.020 amps. Okay, so we're at 90 ohms. I used 100 ohms because it was the closest value resistor I could find in my parts bin, and now that's completely okay. Uh, you may notice or not notice a variation in brightness, but you can adjust this value as you would like. So let's see, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next. Have a great night.